Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we are going to study the area of triangles. And the principle for that is very easy. The area of a triangle is actually exactly half of the area of the corresponding parallelogram. You see, if you have a parallelogram, then you can divide it into two triangles by drawing in the diagonal, okay? If you have a triangle, you can also draw in the corresponding parallelogram that I'm talking about where this side will end up being the diagonal of the parallelogram or this side, there's actually two ways you can draw the parallelogram but basically I take this side and copy it here and then this side and copy it over here and now you can see the outline of the corresponding parallelogram every triangle is always half of a certain parallelogram so to find the area of the triangle, we take the area of that parallelogram and divide by 2. And what was the area of a parallelogram? You need to remember that now. It was base times altitude. Base times altitude. The altitude of a parallelogram was a perpendicular line segment that goes between base and the opposite side. Somewhere here, or here, or here, or here, or here, wherever. But since we have this triangle to look at, we're going to put the altitude right here, coming down from the vertex, top vertex of the triangle over there, okay? This would still be the altitude of the parallelogram too, over here. In this one, the altitude of this parallelogram is somewhere here, you know, anywhere, anywhere between these two sides, but for the triangle, when I draw it here, it's going to fall outside of this triangle. The altitude actually goes here. So the altitude ends up being perpendicular to the continuation of the base. Let's look at it here too. If I have a triangle, I want to find out its area. I will get the base and the height and divide by 2. Okay, the base being this side in my example and the height, like I said, originally it comes from the height of the parallelogram but since if we don't see the parallelogram here then you can always get the right height by going to the vertex of the triangle and drawing a perpendicular line down okay, I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it this one would be the height in the case of this kind of a triangle, it's an obtuse triangle the height will still come down from the vertex towards the base over here okay the base if you choose base to be this side then the height has to be perpendicular to the base or to the continuation of the base let's now solve some problems here first of all where we will find the area of these triangles we will use the formula of base times altitude divided by two or half of base times altitude in this triangle, I will first see the base, which is here, this side, three units. The altitude from here all the way down, perpendicular here, is two units. Okay? Perpendicular meaning that it is at the right angle. So, three times two equals six. And take half of that. Three square units. The area is three square units. Does that make sense? Does it look like this, the area of this is about three of these squares here? There's one whole square here, and these two seem to make another, and these two together seem to make a third square unit. So yes, it makes sense. Here, I can choose my base side to be this one. And then I go to the top corner here, and the altitude will be here. It is at the right angle with the base. Okay? This is as if you can kind of turn your head, look at it this way. So the base is like the bottom side now. But truly, you can choose any side to be base. Base is here 4 units, the altitude 2 units. 4 times 2, 8. Divide by 2, 4. 4 square units. Okay, and does that make sense? You can again count squares. There's two whole squares, this and this. Here's a third one from these, and a fourth one from these. So yes, exactly this. Third one here. Okay, I'm going to make this to be my base here. Two units. And then, this time, my vertex being here, the altitude will be falling outside the triangle here. 
it is 3 units. So 3 units times 2 units is 6 divided by 2, 3, 3 square units. Lastly, we're going to draw some triangles with an area of 4 square units. The area being 4 square units means that base times altitude has to be what? If base times altitude was 4, then to get the area of a triangle I would divide by 2 and get 2. But if base times altitude is 8, then I divide that by 2 and get 4. So base times altitude has to be 8 for the triangle to have an area of 4 square units. So let me find two numbers that multiplied give me 8. 2 times 4, I guess, comes to mind. So I can make base to be 2 and altitude 4. Here, for example, base is 2, and then I go 4 units up. 1, 2, 3, 4. I could put the vertex, for example, here. 2 times 4, and then divide by 2, you get 4. Let me try another color. Let's make another one where we have a 2, base is 2, but it is this way. An altitude of 4, I go 1, 2, 3, 4, I can put it here now. It's another triangle with the same area. Ah, oh, would I have still space somewhere? Maybe make it the other way, 4 times 2, how about that? Base 4 and altitude 2. Okay, the altitude is here, 2 units. For this race, 1, 2, 3, four. oh no. I made it 5. Well, I'm sorry. I should have stopped here. So anyway, now the area of this triangle is actually 5 square units. I hope you get the idea. Anyway.